Howdy, Beautiful Bird here, and welcome. Ignore the map. It's absolutely crap. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. Or these cool little turrets. Still screwing around with those as well. Um, hoverboard. Yeah, I'm using the robot character. Um, you know, you can walk around. That's cool. Or you can use the hoverboard. And, you know, on flat ground it works normal. You can just skate around, do your thing. But you get on a hill, and... And three. Utilizing gravity to get you down the hill. Uh, trouble is, you can't get back up the hill because your hoverboard sucks. You bought it off of eBay. So you can't quite make it back up the damn hill. Every time you try, you go right back down. So you just go back into walk-in mode and put it back away. Uh, no, I don't have a put-away animation for it yet. Um, I only made the one animation using just normal default UE4 animations. Um, but you can equip it. You can still jump uh, right down the hill. And you can just you know, glide around like normal. Turrets look a little um, on the nasty side. Um, home G's here didn't quite make it. Or that drone. And that's just a cable actor. Just to connect power poles, just kind of screwing around with that. If you were to actually hit the, the cables, it'd actually move. But, well, let's take a look at it. Is it perfect? No. But functionality is there. Um, the biggest thing that I wanted to try was getting it equipped, getting it on, on the player's feet, coming up with a simple animation for while you're riding it. Um, things that would change with it later on would be um, maybe the ability to lean whenever you turn, adding a little bit more control other than just being able to spin around while you're going down the hill. And if I was going to develop this map, then I would actually make a um, uh, an actor that would actually be a moving platform that would actually rise up and down or travel diagonally or whatever just to uh, have something to get the player, like a ski lift. So when you're going down the hill, um, gravity, you can't jump. You can spin around. But whenever you're on flat ground, you can jump. There's still some more settings I could work with to, to try to improve that. But let's take a look at it. Oh, and by the way, um, two new pie. No, hate resizing these damn windows for, uh, just for this, because like I said, normally I'm, whenever I'm doing this, testing out anything multiplayer wise, they're on separate. Uh, monitors. So, this is the client on the right hand side. No problem. And these can't see what they have mouse cursor is the host. Probably ch changed some of the other things too, but um, she also come on, let's go. Uh oh, he's going down the hill. Kind of looks so tiny down there. Yeah, and turret tracks. Okay, I was kind of concerned about that. But it's so friggin' tiny down there. And we'll ride down the hill. So, client and server and everything, this replicates. It's working just fine. Alright, so that's that. That's the hoverboard. Um, taking a look at it. When you look at the 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 characters and everything their skeletal meshes like normal when you look at vehicles folder 
um, you'll notice that the hoverboard is a static mesh. Static mesh and collisions tend to have issues with each other, so uh, I said, you know what, the hell with it, I'm just going to attach it to the, uh, the character and roll from there. So my character blueprints folder, my player character, what I've done is, yes, ignore my terrible camera. Um, I've actually added in the hoverboard, and it is set to not visible by default. Okay. And, yes, yes, I'm not changing any damn thing. What I've done here is I have created, first off, a custom event for client use hoverboard, and then get a reference to the hoverboard, just drag it into it, and set visibility to true play animation and set it to looping and of course a, re a reference to the mesh and then a reference to your character movement your mesh just drag it in here character movement just drag that in here we've increased the the max walk speed to 900 so you're moving a little bit faster when you're on the hoverboard and then what I've done is I've set walkable floor angle off of the character movement to 15 now I could change that to 10 or 25. The default is 45. It's actually 44.7983 whatever. But I just rounded it up so that whenever you're you're telling your custom event here to stop hoverboard, you're setting the visibility of it back to unchecked. Set your animation instance class or anim instance class to your normal third person animation or whatever else return your max walk speed back to normal and set walkable floor angle back to 45 which is your default so you're back to normal walking at this point and then whenever I press the one key I run a flip flop the first time I hit it the server use hoverboard and hit it the second time server stop hoverboard and of course at the end of each of these two add it in server use hoverboard switch as authority client use hoverboard simple as that was having some issues with jittering and fix that um, but yeah that's it and in the player blueprint just I added this to the mesh and I created a socket called hoverboard now take a look at that really quickly and what I did was in my mesh you can see he's on the hoverboard there um, I selected root and then I added a new socket all I have to do is just right click add socket and the socket that I added was called hoverboard is what I named it added a preview mesh to it but you can see his feet aren't in the correct location but that's okay that gets us at least a location for it to go to all right and then I created a, um, a custom animation. The custom animation is this guy. And you can see the preview mesh, his feet are pretty much in the right place for it sitting the pads there. Um, could be a little bit better, but whatever. It was a five minute animation. And all I did, and this is just absolutely simple, is I took the third person idol right click duplicate and then call this my hoverboard animation opened it up and as you can see his feet are not in the right place so I'll pause the animation run it all the way back to the very beginning and the first thing that I want to do is I want to rotate his pelvis so his feet are pretty much squared up and I'll just rotate his calf a little bit and just want to kind of you know, uncheck snapping on that for sure and just go ahead and place the body parts wherever you need them to go and rotate the foot and whatnot and if you want to you can also change the um, spine 
change the head and make him look down a little bit if you want to and let's raise his arm up raise that arm up a little bit so once you're you're happy with the base pose for that it's really really complicated what you have to do next um, you hit key you hit apply and now whenever you play the animation there you go that's the animation that he's gonna do it just said easy to make a quick animation so that you're uh, able to stand on it since I attached it to the root he's gonna stay hovered right above the top of the hoverboard um, his feet aren't properly anchored to it but then again we're using a static mesh combined with a skeletal mesh now I could have socketed to the the foot but then one foot would be anchored and the other one wouldn't then I would have to go through a bunch of other stuff and yeah it's possible to make it even better but and this is good enough and save it um, I'm not going to use that one because I've already created my other one but that's it I mean that's all you have to do because inside the blueprints I told it to um, play animation and set it to looping and that keeps him in that animation until you're done with it when you hit the one key again you're setting your animation instance class back to your regular third person animation blueprint or in my case the polygon animation blueprint and yeah that's it I mean it, it's just that simple and yeah you could do a lot of things to tweak it up uh, say whatever you're you're on the hill you're walking normal but by changing the um, the max walk angle it causes you to slide I've noticed that on steep maps I've slid down the friggin hills I'm like well that kind of sucks I want to walk up this hill or I don't want to walk down this hill I don't want to jump off I don't want to fly off I want to actually walk on the hill so just kind of dawned on me well you know why not just um, see if I can change that one aspect of it and that's what I did now I'm sure that there are some other things we can do if you want to really get carried away with the character movement um, you can change your jump velocity on on how high you can jump the air control um, gravity scale you might can tweak that up as well whenever you set your your walkable floor angle um, you could also change the gravity scale um, is multiplied by this amount for the character I've never adjusted that before but you could set the gravity to 0.5 so that you actually are affected less by it or more by it um, Mac acceleration breaking friction um, might be something to look into as well to modify that on the character movement whenever you are on the skis or on the hoverboard or what have you or a skateboard or, or skis or surfboard or whatever you're trying to do uh, and this is going to work well with a winter pack from Cindy Studios whenever they, they get around to releasing the darn thing. Oh, let's see. Air control. Uh, I'm not worried about that. But definitely would think about the braking friction. Maybe mass. Um, use separate braking. Um, probably be good if you're setting another animation so you can actually do a kick turn so you can slow down or or what have you but um, I would probably mess with some of these and you can see that here's the default 44.765083 I didn't did not change that that's just the, the default so I just rounded it up to, to 45 um, max walk speed there is 600 and that's where I've, I've sped it up while on the thing and slowed it down when not back to the normal speed ground friction 
So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Um, setting that affects movement control. Higher values allow faster changes in direction. Um, let me just, for shits and grins, I'm going to move that over there. And that was called um, Ground Friction. So what I'm going to do is get a reference from my character movement. And ground, set ground friction. Control C and Control V, so that we can actually put it back to default whenever we're done. And I'll go back and I'll actually get the default. And the default is 8. Yeah, ground friction is 8. And by changing the ground friction, let's see here. If using separate braking friction is false, let's see. Also affects the ability to stop more quickly when braking. Whereas multiplied by braking <laughs> friction factor, you think that it would come up with a little bit easier to follow a damn description. This property allows you to control how much friction is applied when moving across the ground. Applying an opposite force that scales with current velocity can be used to, s to simulate slippery surfaces, like ice or oil, okay? Um, well, it doesn't tell me which way is which, so I'm going to try it with different values. I'm going to put it at 2 when we're on our hoverboard, and we're going to go back to 8 when we're not. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please connect to that. So, let's see what happens here. All right, on flat ground, whatever I I stop moving, he doesn't stop immediately. Kind of slows to a stop. Let's go down the hill and see what happens here. I'm gonna take my hands off the controls, and yeah, he just stops way too quick. Um, I want to be able to have inertia and carry it through. Um, let's try it at a way far opposite. That's going to probably be the opposite of what I'm looking for here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's way too much. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back and try it at one. Might even try taking it less than one as well. It's fine when you're normal. When you're on the skis... Yeah, on the right path. Um, still some other things we need to change to make it more slippery. Ground friction, we're going from 8 down to 1. And there was something else we could do here. Um, breaking deacceleration. Level deacceleration when falling is not applied. Okay, that's jumping and falling, so not really. Well, it, technically we are falling at that point. Falling lateral friction, we don't want that. And not applying acceleration. Lateral deacceleration when falling and not applying. Hmm. No, that's air control. That's going to be like our floating speed. Let's try our gravity scale reduce that if we need to. Um, breaking friction factor. Let's actually work with that one right there. And breaking well, let's try friction get set breaking friction factor. Yeah, and let's please make sure we connect to that. 
And the breaking friction factor default was what, two? Oh, would you just frickin' connect? All right, let's check that crap out here. Uh, breaking friction factor, which was character movement, two is default. So let's try it at point one. Do we want to be able to slide? That's better. It, it slid a few feet. You can see whenever I stop, I'm going to stop now. So we probably just need to tweak these factors here a little bit. The ground friction, let's take that to 0.5 and 0 0.01. Let's just keep on raking it down. So it's going to be fine when we're walking normal, but we can get on our, our um, hoverboard. This is, whenever I stop moving, manually. Now going downhill we're using gravity. Hmm. Unless there's something to do with the um, the landscape. I've never tried this before so this is all new to me. Um, no, it, it should be in, in this. It's right here in the character movement. Uh, it's just a matter of figuring out which one. Breaking deacceleration. Might actually have to um, do this right here. Use separate braking. So let's um, use separate. Set use braking. Yeah, that thing. All right, you got to move over a little bit more. Go back to fault when we're off the hoverboard and off on when we are there. Normal and no real difference. It's better. Um, I'll tinker around with this a little bit here and there just to see what I can come up with on it. But that's a good start. It's got us on our, our board. It's got us a custom animation. It, it kind of slides and skates around a little bit on this. Um, might have to try some other things too, like um, there was something else we could use to affect the material or the actual landscape. I'm sure there was something that was on there that um, we could change. So landscape. Rendering light mass collision. Hmm. After yeah, there was something else on here. I, I remember seeing another setting somewhere that you could change that would affect the actual terrain itself. 
don't exactly remember what it is, but it would actually say whether it was like ice or snow or whatever else. I will look up to what I can figure out on increasing what we're doing here, but hopefully if you're messing around with the sci-fi pack or whenever the um, the winter pack comes out hopefully this should be a little helpful to you and I'll see if I can actually and I did put blocking volumes on on the side here to keep you from falling out of the world but what I wanted to try to do was get it to where you could actually set up skiing and actually have more of an ice feel to the snow while you're on the board so that you could actually if you had momentum you could go up a little bit or jump you know things like that while you were sliding down have more control might actually even say um, like if you turn it kicks up snow or put a particle effect behind it to where it looks like a snow effect is coming off the back of it you know stuff like that you could do all kind of things to it you know, right now, setting it with the number one key allows you to get into it and out of it. So if you're climbing up the hill and all of a sudden you change over, you're not able to go forward anymore. You've lost control. And you're at the mercy of gravity. Alright, well I thought that was kind of cool. That's the, um, the hoverboard. Now, if you're to use this on flat ground, then no problem. It's going to act like a normalish hoverboard. So, let's actually make sure that's saved. Even though I didn't change anything, let's go to the demonstration map, and I'll just ride around on the hoverboard to show you that it, it works no matter where you are, and it works as a hoverboard. It's not affected by gravity, and. Let's actually check our world settings, third person game mode, and play. So you can walk around normal, or you can hop on your hoverboard and skate around town. Now what I'll also probably do is, whatever I'm on it, I'll probably raise the, um, the character up a little bit. You see whenever you go through some terrains like that, the collisions aren't perfect, so you're going to skate through the terrain. But now you can skate around town on your hoverboard. Everybody wants a hoverboard, right? And it has a little bit of a slide to it now. And if you get on a slope, you are at the mercy of gravity. And again, this is multiplayer replicated, so... Um, if you wanted to, you could actually host this in multiplayer. Yikes. Start on top of each other. And there's your clan on the left. You can see him jump. We can see him slide around. Everything works great. And we come back over here to our server. Alright, well thank everybody for watching and we will see you in the next video.